What's up, everybody? Getting into this episode of YNR. Listen, I am so freaking glad Adam chose to stay with Newman Media. I think it's the, the smart thing to do, honestly, because yes, Adam could go off and start up a new company from scratch, but why do that? You know what I mean? Why, why go through the hassle of doing all that when you can prove everybody wrong, take Victoria ass out, and gain Newman Lock? You know, it's the smarter way to do it. You could take them down from the inside. Because with him being on the inside, he could start noticing the tension between Victoria Ashland and he could take full advantage of it. You know what I'm saying? Which would be the smart move. And I love the look on Victoria and Ashland's face when Adam told them that he was staying. Victoria totally wasn't expecting it. She was not expecting Adam to stay with the company. She thought it was going to be that easy to get rid of him. Clearly, she's underestimating Adam. And that's, that's going to be one of her biggest mistakes. Victoria needs to humble herself because she sees Adam as the enemy, but the biggest enemy is standing right beside her, her own damn husband. This man plotting and scheming behind her back, taking business meetings and closing deals, having private conversations about business, offering people jobs, all behind her back, trying to put people that he trusts in key positions at Newman Lock without talking to her about it. You know what I mean? That's who she need to be focusing on, her damn husband. Um, Adam shouldn't even be surprised that Victoria and Ashlyn don't want him to have complete autonomy over Newman Media. Of course they don't. And, you know, Victoria made that abundantly clear that he's going to have some autonomy. But for right now, he's not going to have full autonomy because they basically want to put him through a test. You know what I'm saying? With the new... Stuff that he's going to be overseeing because it's not just Newman Media anymore. He's going to be overseeing overseeing Newman Media, Chancecom, and the new sports division. So he's going to be overseeing all those things. They're all going to be combined into one. So that's a lot more responsibility for him. And I think, honestly, Adam is going to rock it. And he made it abundantly clear to Victoria and him that he's up for the challenge. And I said, I know he is. Adam is smart. He's very smart. But I feel like him working under Victoria, if she keeps pushing him the way that she's doing... He's going to revert back to that dark Adam that he left behind. You know, he tried to change who he was and be a better person. But if they keep poking him, he's going to revert back to it. Um. So anyway, Adam met up with Victor and Nikki at Society and stuff to give them the news that he was staying with Newman Media. And of course, Victor is happy about it because Nikki was pretty much grilling Victor. You know, asking him, do, you know, what are you going to do if Adam say no? He was like, shit, I got a plan B. <laughs> you know, Victor got a plan B for everything. Um, He's the king of plan Bs. Like, Victor know what he doing. And he definitely got a plan. He, 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 he got a plan. Because if he didn't care about Adam or whatever, or he was trying to, you know, pull the rug out from under Adam, he wouldn't have, inc he would have never included Adam in this deal if he really didn't give a crap. Clearly, he's up to something that involves Adam he, he up to something. Um, I don't know what exactly yet, but we're going to find out soon enough. Um, so, of course, Victoria Ashland pop up. Um, they're all toasted, having champagne and stuff like that. I'm just like, you know, I agree with Nick. When Nick came up in there, even he said it. After they all left, even he said it. It's too many cooks in the kitchen, too many chefs in the kitchen. Everybody want to be a boss. And it's so true because you got Adam, you got Victoria, you got Ashlyn, too many powerhouses trying to outmaneuver each other. You know what I'm saying? It's going to reek of disaster. And of course, Ashlyn put Victor to the side to talk to him about stuff. And even Victor was like, shouldn't we wait for Victoria to come over here? Ashlyn said, no, I'm going to run point. See, Victor know his game. He sees exactly what Ashlyn's up to. And when Nikki asked Victor about it, Victor was like, yeah, he wants to talk to me because he wants to basically, now that his health has improved, Ashlyn wants to have a bigger role in the company. He wants to have more of a power role in the company. And he wants to make changes to Newman Lock without Victoria's input. And Victor made it clear. He said, ain't no way in the world I'm letting that shit go down. He said, it's not going to happen, Captain. <laughs> yeah, Victor definitely got his eyes on Ashlyn now more than ever. He got his eyes on that man because he said, no, you ain't about to sit here and think you slick and you about to take something under your wing. You about to steal our company out from under us. It ain't going to happen. See, Victor know exactly what he doing. And he's probably had this plan for quite some time. Um. So anyway, 
I felt bad for Adam when I seen him moping back to the office and stuff, and he like he about had tears in his eyes. I felt bad for him because I know it was hard for him to stay on at Newman Media knowing that Victoria is going to be his boss. You know what I mean? And she's already making decisions behind his back regarding Newman Media without even discussing it with him. That's what pissed me off. I, I, I totally understood where Chloe and Chelsea were coming from because they were nervous. They were panicking about their role at Newman Media now that it's being bought out. Anybody would panic about that. When you hear about your job being bought out, your company that you work for, of course you're going to be freaking nervous because you're going to wonder about your job. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you keeping your job? Are you like, what's going to go down? So, of course, they didn't sit around waiting. They went right to Victoria and asked her about it. And Victoria made it clear to them. She was like, you know, yeah, she got a fondness for Sally because she, you know, made her wedding dress. But she said, as far as the Newman fashion platform is concerned, she's killing that. And that pissed me off. Cause I'm like, why are you doing this without talking to Adam first? He is still CEO now. You know what I mean? Like, you should be talking to the CEO about this. And it's messed up that she's doing this without even consulting Adam. That's the messed up part. Um, But, yeah, she pretty much killing the fashion platform because she don't want nothing to do with developing a new clothing line and all that mess. She got different ideas for the platform. And I'm like, well, damn, are you even going to tell Adam about these new ideas? Victoria doing the most at this point. She doing the most. Um, so of course, Chelsea and Chloe are pissed. So Chelsea came up with the bright idea to just start from scratch and create a new fashion platform independently. Yeah, that's the way to go. I mean, Chelsea got money, you know, she's selling the penthouse and stuff. So some of the money that she get from the penthouse sale, she could use to fund the new platform because it's going to be expensive. Um, I don't know if Chloe has any money that she could kick in. Because I don't know what her and Kevin financial situation is at this moment. But um, hopefully she got some ducats to kick in. But they could, always, they, they could always, if they're smart, try to get investors. Like, go to Jabot. You know what I'm saying? Try to get Jack on board as an investor and stuff. Or put it under, you know, his company or whatever. They don't even have to put it under Jabot. They could keep it independent. But you could always, you know, work in partnership with Jabot. And they can be a major financier. You know, they could be an investor. Um, there's a couple different avenues they can do to get this off the ground. But Chloe was seeing things from a bigger picture because she knew what time it was. She knew they needed Sally. But Chelsea made it abundantly clear, like, listen, I'm not putting Sally nowhere near this new platform. She said, absolutely not. See, that's ego and that's petty talking. That's not a business mind talking. And you could tell Chloe was very irritated with Chelsea when she kept saying, oh, I'm not working with Sally Chloe was irritated as shit. She was so over Chelsea at that moment because it's like she's not thinking like a businesswoman. Ever since Chelsea came back and started working at the platform, she has not been thinking like a smart business person. She's been thinking like a petty schoolgirl. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all she's been thinking, like a child, not like a savvy business person. Sally's good at what she does. She's a good designer. You know, she brought a lot of buzz to the platform. She made an, a lot of noise, a lot of ballsy moves. You know what I mean? Chelsea's stupid at this point. So stupid. And Sally pretty much confronted them and was like, listen, we could, you know, she came up with the same idea. She was like, well, if the platform is dead, we can create our own platform until she realized that Chloe and Chelsea were planning on starting their own platform without her. That's when she got pissed. And I love Sally's clap back. You know, she pretty much called um, Chloe a fool, you know, called her, um, a fool for chasing behind Chelsea and Chelsea 2.0. She was like, or whatever number you're at right now. She called Chelsea a has been. I had to agree with um with Chloe. I mean, I had to agree with Sally on this one. I definitely had to agree. Like they were letting foolishness stop them from making good money. You know what I mean? Because having Sally at a team is very smart. She's like I said, she's ballsy. She has a lot of moxie. She's not afraid to take a chance, take a risk, and her risk usually pays pays off. Why would you not want to go get her like that on your team? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Chelsea and Chloe, who got mess with them if it's just them? You know what I'm saying? Like, who in the industry want to partner up with Chelsea and Chloe? Like, let's be real. Especially after that Chelsea 2.0 debacle with Lauren and Finn Morris, who's going to want to work with them? Their name should be burnt in the fashion industry. Nobody should want to work with them. They're definitely going to need Sally. But I definitely feel like Sally could do her own thing. 
Maybe Adam can find a position for her at Newman Media or whatever, try to talk Vicky into creating some type of fashion thing for her. Or better yet, Sally could start her own damn platform. She could start her own clothing line and get Adam to personally invest in it. I think that would be smart, too. Because all Chelsea could think about is pettiness. Talking about, oh, she knew about the sale of Newman Media and didn't tell us or whatever. First of all, Sally's not the CEO. She's not the boss. And Chelsea made it clear to her many times that she was not the boss. So that was the boss's decision. You know, I he should have told you. Adam should have told her. Somebody should, you know, somebody above Sally should have told them. Don't try to put that off on Sally because it's not her fault that you were not told. You were told when you needed to be told. Um, and besides, things were happening pretty quickly, you know, so can't falter for that. Um, so anyway, moving on from that, um, Victoria pretty much wanted to define Ashlyn's role at Newman Lock, you know, because Ashlyn was sitting here talking about some, oh, are you sure Victor is going to be cool with just taking an advisory role? I'm like, well, he's still chairman of the board. But he doesn't interfere in the company anymore. He's been silent on the business matters for a while now. He's been semi-retired for the last couple years. So obviously he cool with it. Um, if not, he would have been took back the reins of CEO. He would have been took it. If he really wanted to, he could have. And that's why Victoria was like, I don't want to talk about my father's role. She was like, I want to talk about your role <laughs> in this company and what you're going to be doing. Um, Victoria definitely is giving that man too much leeway way too much um she need to be watching him because that's like a wolf in sheep's clothing at this point she worried about adam this is the one you need to really be worried about um so anyway nick for somebody who don't want to interfere in newman business he definitely keep doing it like when he approached vicky and um i mean victor and, and nikki at the restaurant and stuff to talk about what's going on with the business and stuff and then he approached michael about working for newman you know working for victor again I'm like, for somebody who don't give a damn and don't want to involve yourself, you sure are getting your input in, ain't you, sir? <laughs> but I can't, I can't blame him, though, you know. He was like, he told Mike, he said, hell, better you than me working for Victor again. Um, but I think a part of him still want to work for Victor. As much as Nick deny it, he miss it. He could lie all he want to. I ain't mad at him for wanting to stay out the drama, you know what I'm saying? But a part of him know he miss it. Um... Lauren, I don't blame Lauren for being a little skeptical about Mike working for Victor again because she's seen how that can be. But, you know, I think Mike got a good handle on it this time. And he's definitely showing his worth as usual because he went to Victor with some damn, damn good information on Ashlyn um, to raise quite a few eyebrows. Because when Mike went to the ranch to talk to Victor about business, of course, Nikki was pissed because as COO of Newman Lock, she was mad that she wasn't you know, they weren't allowing her to be involved in the business talk, kind of like excusing her, like dismissing her. I'm like, Nikki, go on somewhere. She's been married to Victor long enough to know how he do business. He don't tell you nothing. Victor keeps things very close to the vest until it's time for him to tell you. When he has something more concrete, more proof of things, then he will alert you to what's going on. Until then, get your ass out. <laughs> go. Um, the less people that know about what Victor's doing, the better. Because you know he don't like too many people knowing his business. Because that's how loose lips sink ships. So, go on about your day. Till he ready to tell you. Um, so basically, Michael did some digging. And he found out there was some inconsistencies with, um, Ashlyn's treatment. With his treatment plan. And the legitimacy of the clinic and the treatment. Like, basically saying that it might not all be legit. Like, Ashlyn could be lying about his health this whole time. So, Victor told him, because Victor was questioning why Ashlyn would go all the way to Peru anyway for some damn treatment. So, Victor told Michael, keep digging. He was like, keep digging till you find some more. Come on. Victor is not playing. He ready to expose that ass. Um, See, if Billy was smart when he was initially investigating Ashlyn, he would have caught all of this stuff that Michael catching. I'm like, obviously, Billy ain't that bright. <laughs> Or he got subpar investigators because I'm like, Michael found this information rather quickly. If Billy was on par, he would have found this shit. Um, so anyway, moving on from that. I like that Faith is looking at colleges and stuff like that. Like, she pretty much knows what she wants to do, which is business. And, you know, of course, Nick had his suspicions because when she said business and stuff, she thought that she might have been influenced by... Uh, by Victor to get into business and stuff. And she was like, no, not really. 
But when you're born in a family full of business people, moguls and stuff like that, of course, Victor is her inspiration. You know, the man came from nothing and look what he built. So I think she was inspired by Victor. She was inspired by Victoria. She was inspired by um, Summer, you know, all of them being in business and fashion and all that stuff. She was inspired. So, of course, she would want to be in business. It's a no brainer. And I'm happy for her. You know, I hope she finds a really good school. You know, we see what the future holds for Faith. I think she's a bright girl. And I would love to see her grow up and, you know, mix it up with the business community. You know, see how that's going to look. Um, so anyway, I wish that they would do more with um, Nate and Elena. Because I feel like they're not doing much with those two characters. Like, Nate is still mulling over Ashlyn's offer to, you know, go back to Ask MD. And, of course, Elena was a little, like, thrown off by it because she thought her job was in jeopardy over there. But he was like, no, Ashlyn is just expanding and both of them are going to work for them, for uh, Newman Locke. Um, Because he's ready, you know, he's pissed that he can't do surgery and stuff because of the whole Devon mess or whatnot. But like I said, I just wish that they would do more for them because these are two good ass, you know, good characters, good actors. You know what I'm saying? I would love to see more being done, especially with Imani being in town. If they show more of that, you could definitely see a little bit more sizzle. You know what I'm saying? That's what Nate and Elena need. They need more sizzle. Um, so anyway, that was pretty much the whole episode. Um, hit the comments. Let me know what you all thought. And I will see you all later. Have a great night. Peace.